Yeah, I see it. Damn. Drop my fucking meat. Wait a minute, yeah. Hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we upload videos. If you ain't already seen the double A family member, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit that bell. Yeesh. What up, TWH? Welcome back to another video. Tonight I have some zucchini chicken noodles. Yeah, look at this. Then I have some Johnsonville brats. I got a um a can of spam and I got some nacho cheese. We're gonna pray with and get it in. Father God, thank you for the food I'm about to see. I thank you Lord for the hands that prepared it. I thank you Lord for the people I have anything to eat that you supply them, they cook running over. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright, what are y'all eating with me today? Okay, y'all. Um, the topic for today. Okay, so. Yeah, I see it. Damn. Drop my fucking meat. Wait a minute, yeah. for a day you know? when you've been so good to people and the person that you've been so good to never from the beginning was with you and it was against you it reflects in their later on relationships um my husband called me on today I didn't feel the need to talk to him because how I looked at it as in if you didn't respect the person that I am when you was with me and you know it's been over a year and something now that we haven't been together and you got to ask someone else for my number you don't deserve my conversation. So I didn't answer. And if you're watching this, just know I got love for you, but some stuff get over and I can't do it.
people out there they don't care about you and they moving on, they living their best life while you sitting there dreading on why you doing this and why you doing that. I have to stop that. It's time to move forward. Trying to get yourself together, move forward, and let them have their life. You know, I hate to feel like that I'm like the kind of person like he is, but. Well, I tried. I waited. I fought. Ain't nothing else I can do. It's basically like I done gave up, not on myself, but I done gave up on the relationship. I fought long and hard. Many people that know me, they know I fought. And some people are so materialistic and so, you know, caught up on their self to where they don't know what they're losing until it's gone. So, I'm gone. And I ain't gonna say it don't hurt, cause it does. But at the same time, why well, sit here and suffer when that person ain't losing their day of sleep over you, or their night of sleep over you? I wish him the best in life. Mm. That's all I can do. You chose who you want. Pick up the phone today, yeah. So, but I see growth. Then, when you find that people tell them soft stories and people tell them the wrong stories about what happened what went wrong in your relationship it makes you feel some type of way being that you were single you weren't bothering nobody you know you stand for yourself and that person pursued you so being they pursued you then they were looking for something so being that they still call this them didn't find what they were looking for. They leave you high and dry. Bring drama to your life. Bring mishaps. Just bring all kind of negativity to your life. And they're just up and leading. You done separate from your family. You done, you know, everything about them. You basically don't showcase your whole life around you. And when they leave you, of course you're going to act some type of way. Because you let your guard down and you trust it in them.
So being that it happened, what you tell the next person about your relationship, it need to be honest. You don't need to tell a lie because the person that you love already going through enough. And that's my whole point. Don't tell a lie on me. I'm a good person. I like to have fun. I'm friendly. I'm very family oriented. Don't tell lies on me. I don't wish bad on nobody, but you read what you saw. Don't lie on me. Broke my fault. Let me y'all. I'm gone. Can you no fault? Mm. Let me dip. Mm. But you know, don't tell a lie. But I just want to think how can you hurt somebody and do something to somebody and then you know, use somebody else to fill that void and tell your lies about your past relationship. I'm not understanding. Somebody comment down below, help me understand. I don't understand. If the person you with or the person you married to do everything in their power. You have to get where you at now in life. And somebody else came along that you ain't got to be so committed to or you ain't got to, you know, do different things that you're supposed to do when you're married. So basically like you live in a single life but you still got a title of being in a relationship. I wasn't finna put up with that. You're not finna be married to me and still live in a single life. So furthermore, so he moved on to that, and the question must have came up, how was your husband either, how was your ex? So, my thing is, you done created a whole new relationship out here. Talking about your husband to so a boyfriend, which his boyfriend is not married to you. He got nobody knowing nothing about me. But if you're gonna tell them anything about me, tell the truth. Just my whole thing, just what getting to me. It ain't about him talking to nobody else. It's about you telling lies to the next person. You make yourself look good. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because I'm nothing short of a good person. I'm like, I'm a really good person. Like, plenty of people, I have been told plenty of times, well, if you scrape, you'll make a perfect husband. I'm pretty sure of that, but I don't like women. But at the same time, I try to be good by my partner, whoever I'm with. But if somebody can use you, they will use you. To the max. And then say it. It's really sad. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we upload videos. If you ain't already a double H member, go ahead and hit that bell and hit the subscribe. Peace. Yeah, they real good. I done broke the fork, but this one's good. Can I tear another piece out? It's good. Yeah, I see y'all like spam. 
Spam is so good.